What's up everybody, Mana here with your daily content. I'll be playing some Infernals versus Jardozer. I'm currently in the middle of playing show matches for uh, Pix channel. And we're playing Infernal versus Infernal versus Jardozer. I actually, I don't remember how good Jardozer really is, uh, but I do believe since he's playing in the show matches, he has to be good enough to know exactly what's, what's happening and what, what to do. So we'll be playing versus uh, Infernals. I'm going to start with a Shrine first. I haven't shown Infernal versus Infernal yet on my channel, so hopefully this will be an exciting match. I do believe that you can defend Jesus and everything with Infernal, uh, with uh, Shrine first, even against like proxies or tower rushes, which are uh, available in the game. But I think it depends on the map. I think there are maps where the rush distance is so short that uh, Shrine first might not be uh, worth it. I think the map that we are currently playing on should be defendable, but um. I'm happy to be proven wrong, <laughs> if that's not going to be uh, the case. Let's see. Let's start with a little bit of a wall-off here. I'm gonna try to make as many imps as possible. We'll kind of focus on only uh, Luminite, which is the, the middles, the gold or whatever. And eventually we'll try to mine a bit more gas later on, or Ethereum. Uh, We're waiting for the... Iron Vault to finish. Let's pick one of those imps here. I want to make a meat farm around here to protect myself versus any potential cheeses here. I don't think this guy will be cheesing me immediately. Of course, we are in a show match, so uh, I'm not expecting that. However, I think it's perfectly fine to chase in a show match, especially when we're showing off a, a new game. So I wouldn't mind trying to defend the early game here. Okay, we got two imps here. Try and finish this just in time. Let's try to kill this. I want to definitely get the vision camp. I think the vision camp is uh, very important on this map. It gives you a good uh, vision of the area that you can be attacked from. I wonder if he's going to be playing for fast expand as well. By the looks of things, he's not attacking me yet. So I'm guessing this would be a, an expansion first for my opponent, just like I am doing. Let's get one more brute. I'm gonna get a couple of brutes here. I want to expand again. A very quick third base, and then eventually we'll just get to the Ethereum mining. I think brutes are good enough in the early game for Infernal vs. Infernal. I could be wrong, of course. I don't have that much experience with Infernal vs. Infernal. I don't know what's the right thing or bad thing to do, so I will be learning here on the fly as well. Okay, he has the watchtower here as well, so let's try to find a little bit of action in here. We definitely can start mining a bit of that uh, Ethereum here. Let's see if he has expanded. He definitely has expanded, right? Yeah, there is the Shroud, you can see. Lots of Brutes here. Let's start a Shrine here. We need to back off. I think he has invested a lot into the Brutes. Let's try to block the area around my tower here. I need to get myself a Conclave. Just in case as well, that's a lot of Brutes going in here, but that's okay, I can get enough Brutes on the defense. I could try even going around here, see if he's expanding, maybe I can cancel an expansion with a counter-attack. Go around the vision of my opponent, let's see if I can cancel an expansion, there, there could be an expand, let's say there's not, okay, we're fighting here, that's fine. I don't mind this. We're fighting in, inside of the range of the tower here as well. I have to go inside here of his main base. In the meantime, oh, I forgot to split one of my brutes. Okay, that's fine. That's three vaults, by the way. I have the expansion advantage. Okay, we got the imps here. Didn't get to split here. Try to get this. Okay, nice. It's a good, solid defense, I would say. The counter attack was actually very important here as well. Now we get. The advantage of an expansion. Let's start mining a little bit more Ethereum here. On this as well. Now I have the, the third expansion. And we also got a little bit of that uh, mining from his. Let's go here. Let's open up the, the crater here. Oh, whatever it's called. Get one more conclave. We open this one up. I wouldn't mind getting a, a speed camp, but I kind of want to... Oh, what? He's attacking? Okay. That's fine. 
Can maybe block him a bit here. Okay, we force him to split. I definitely need to get a meat farm in the in the tower here. Make sure that I don't get any damage if he decides to counterattack me. Let's get a meat farm here as well. Purely defensively. Let's uh, send some imps to mine a bit more. We can send these imps here as well. Should be fine. To saturate the main base. Uh, not the main base, the third base. That would be really nice. I wouldn't mind getting a shroud stone here in the middle to gather my white health over time. Okay, I have the expansion handle. Uh, not the expansion, the greater shrine, which is like the lair for Zerg. Available, I, I'm available to create more tech right now. I'm looking to upgrade my... Uh, my... Uh, what is it called? Gaunts. To have an upgrade which makes uh, their attacks to infest the enemies. This is extremely important in Infernals versus Infernals. Okay, I need to get a bit more gold here. I have a very strong army, I would say. I'd like to scout what he's doing, though. I'm gonna send my fiends to the top side of the map. His vision camp should be depleting in just a moment. I could get one more conclave here. Let's see if he has... Okay, he has an expansion here, but it's just building. Which makes me think that I have a huge ad economical advantage over my opponent. He's cutting around. He's starting to make guns. Let's see the other expansion. Let's get this in the meantime. I think I have a huge economical lead over my opponent. Yes. I have a very fast third base. Okay. We can probably attack him before he gets uh, the upgrades himself or Magmadons. He will see that I have an expansion here. Let's start the upgrade in the meantime. I need to hotkey my, my tower. It has global ability, the infest. Let's see if we can make it work. I think it might be a bit risky, maybe. Oh, hello. Okay. Got the magma down here. Can we fight here? Let's try. I think I have more here. But I'm willing to retreat if necessary. He has a lot of guns. I don't know if I'm winning this fight, to be honest. We have the infest. But I have way, way more brutes than he does. So maybe we can win the fight. Okay, we can surround maybe the guns here. Okay, we use the infest again. I have the Magmadon coming in here. We should be able to get a W here if I just retreat enough. Okay, let's just kill the expansion. No reason to overcommit. Now we get this. We split. The Magmadons are extremely important in these engagements, by the way. They tank so much from the guns, while the fiends deal the damage. They're kind of like a Link Ultra here. We were able to micro ourselves in here. I had the number advantage over my opponents here as well. So, I was confident I would be able to win this fight. It's very difficult to distinguish the, the fight at this stage of... Uh, Stormgate beta, by the way. Especially Infernal versus Infernal. Pull this guy back. Get more magma. I actually do need more meat farms. I need to save these uh, fiends so I can go into the healing camp. The fiends uh, lose HP over time. But if you put them in the healing shrine, the healing camp, whatever, you can just uh, heal them up. So here I need to heal up the magma dons here as well. That would be really nice. Let's get more magma dons. I'd like to get more uh, guns here to heal up this guy. Oh, heal yourself up, man. You can do this. And I'll just attack him now with uh, the multiple magma dons that I have. And I should be able to probably win the game with this next attack. This guy's not really healing much. Yeah, let's, I don't have that much time to waste. Let's go like this. Hotkey my stuff so I can micro a bit. Now I have the upgrade for the guns. It will be a bit better for me. Let's get more meat farms. Let's try to attack him again. Maybe at the same time counter-attacking with the fiends on the left side. So it's not only a one-dimensional fight. So let's try to attack both uh, areas at the same time. They are very quick. So let's make sure that we attack at the same time. And set the counter-attack. Here to the third base. And now another one. Let's see. He's not here yet. Okay, now he's counter-attacking. This is my army. Is he gonna be flanking me? Possible. Okay, 
Okay, we have, we're fighting in the middle in here. My army is kind of disjointed, but I have way more magma dons than my opponents. So I'm kind of confident in winning this fight. As well as I have the, the gods upgrade. And he doesn't have that. Most likely. So I will have a lot of fiends in here. Let's infest his workers as well. Go here with the fiends to the workers line. So I'll have a lot of fiends. That's going to be it. GG. We win game number one quite convincingly. But that's the infernal versus infernal. He played very aggressively with triple iron vault and lots of brute pressure while i expanded and he didn't get to cancel my expansion so after defending the early brute attack i was quite uh, far ahead economically speaking so i was able to capitalize on that economical advantage and win the game shortly after okay game number two will be versus vanguards by the way he, he decided to switch the race from infernals to vanguard so we're going to have no a non mirror matchup this is a much smaller map with lots of camps in the middle, especially resource camps. There's four of them. It's quite important to get some kind of early game uh, pressure to secure these camps because they give you a lot of resources. Each camp gives you 40 uh, Luminite, which if you gather all of them, you can get 160 in the early game, which can basically pay back from the investment to an early uh, game unit, but only if you secure all four of them. Try to micro a bit against this dog. He wants to harass me as much as possible. We'll just open up with an iron vault into an immediate brute to shoot away the dog. In the meantime, we'll be making as many imps as possible. He's waiting with the dog here. That's fine. We'll bring another imp here so I don't lose it. I'm just trading HP here. Let's go back to mining. This guy's full HP. Good fight. He's buying a lot of time here, so I'll have to split my uh, Brute into two, most likely. I can probably win this fight with it. I think the Imp wins this. That's funny. <laughs> I thought I might be forced to split the Brute, but now I can use this Brute, a single Brute, uh, to fight the camps. He has to use the... Uh, they're like a healing uh, flower somewhere around. Yeah, right here. So he was able to heal up his dog immediately, pretty much to full HP. I think each flower drops like three little flowers, which, and each flower heals up for 40 HP, something like that. And you have just a couple of them in this, uh, on this map. Now I can, with one brute, I can easily take on, uh, take on a single camp without even splitting. And for the second camp, I can still fight if I'm going to be, you know, undisturbed and still uh, split the brute into two and gather the camp. Otherwise, I will have to, I will, like, I just have to split, right? I just have to split the brute here. Otherwise, I will not be able to capture it. Okay, a little bit of lag. I was, <laughs> I was worried that I might not be able to get. It. I'm not sure if the two fiends can get the resource camp though. I think it might. Actually, this is fine. I can take it. I think. I didn't know that. So it looks like two fiends can gather, uh, can capture a camp as well. We just start uh, mining a little bit of more Ethereum now. So maybe I will be able to even snipe all the uh, four camps. Which makes me think that my opponent is going to be fast expanding. Let's go here. Let's use the uh, DPS of the Fiend. Now I have other Brutes reinforcing here. Oh, he has... Wait. Oh, there's actually already... Catch Hawk. So it's not a fast expand. The split. Let's just get a counter attack with the Fiends here. While also trying to defend against the Hedgehog. Looks like there's no fast expand. So just very quick Hedgehog. We, do, we need to do some counterattack. My tower only costs 25 Luminite, by the way, which is very, very cheap. But every time that I'm making a structure, it costs me a worker. Unless I cancel the, the structure, of course. But we can use these counterattack of the fiends. Oh, he actually sees down the high ground here. It's a bit too close. I don't really like it for myself. Maybe you can still make it work. Okay. Just pull back. Wait for the thing to finish. Now we'll have some actually firepower to shoo away this hedgehog. It's very close to dying, but I will not be able to do it. So we're trying to disrupt his expansion here as much as possible. I have additional brutes here. Yeah, we successfully defended the hedgehog rush with a good counterattack with the fiends. It also cost my opponent some economy. So not only I didn't lose a lot of economy myself, I also disrupted my opponent's economy while I have a faster expansion. So it is kind of like a little double victory for me here. We can try to take this camp. Now I just need to get into um, into the guns and upgrades. Oh, he's still attacking here. I'm gonna lose the tower here. That's okay. That's okay. I was just being greedy, walking out to try to take a camp. 
Now it takes my opponent a lot of time to get this, so I'm going to be counter-attacking with my brutes as well while I'm securing my economy. The fiends are very quick, hedgehogs are faster than the fiends, but maybe I'll be able to disrupt my opponent's economy by a bit again. While in the meantime, I'm going to be uh, attacking up. Oh, he came back immediately with his hedgehog, so I, I'm not getting much value here. This maybe I can get a bob or so. Not much done here. I just confirm what he's doing. He hasn't made any additional any additional factories or barracks, so it's still 1-1 one, one only. I would like to get, take a third base. I might take it even outside of my opponent's vision range. I think it's very likely he'll scout this base or this base on the right side, so I'll try to make a a hidden expansion here while expand while uh, continuing to uh, tech up to the gaunt upgrade which is going to be quite uh, necessary in order to get uh, a good amount of fiends from my opponent units the gaunts attack only bounce on the on the opponent's uh, units but once you have the infest uh, upgrade the gaunts attack they infest all the units on the way, and what infest does, it spawns a fiend out of the enemy unit that is uh, that is killed. So basically you get a, a free unit over uh, over your opponent. Okay, I would like to secure this expansion now. Kind of late on the expansion, but that's okay. I, I lost the free brutes kind of carelessly. Um, while splitting them into fiends, I didn't get much value out of it, but that's okay. Get some more Ethereum here, we can still mine a bit more. My production is looking okay, but I definitely have a lot of idle production at the moment, but that's because I'm waiting for the Shadow Clef to finish. Once Shadow Clef, this building is finished, I can produce Magmadons and start the upgrade for the guns that I de so desperately want to uh, want to start. Okay, Put the upgrade. I could also start with the upgrade of uh, for Brutes, which makes them split into four fiends instead of two. Which is also a very good upgrade versus Vanguard. But I decide to go for the Gaunt upgrade first. I think I have enough Brutes here anyway. Okay. He's still looking for my expansion, by the way. I, I can see him flying around with the Hedgehogs. I'm gonna go with one Magma down here. The Magma down has also this ability to consume the Velhawks, which is the, the Supply Depot unit that you have here. You can uh, consume it and get white health out of it. That's also a very useful thing to to know they're very tanky the magmadons okay i wonder if he's waiting for this expansion to finish if he spotted it he might not have spotted it okay now he sees this this is like this the scan uh, of the vanguards my half my upgrade is halfway done maybe we can find some damage in here let's produce some guns got everything we can maybe get the resource camp here that'd be really nice Okay, let's use this. I have, a, I have an upgrade finishing in just a moment, so maybe we can deny my opponent expansion. Make some brutes in the meantime. I'd like to start the upgrade for the brutes as well. But I don't have enough Tyrion. Okay, my upgrade should be finishing in just a moment. Okay, he is here. Okay, let's go. Stim, and let's go. Oh, he has already the... The Vulcans, that is, that is very interesting. We need to get rid of the Vul Vulcan, by the way. Okay, we got rid of it. There's more stuff happening, and let's get the upgrade for the... For the Brutes. Okay, I'm losing this fight. Let's run away. Yeah, that was a difficult fight for me, actually. I don't think I got much value out of this. We can still fight. He's microing around. Just don't focus too much on the attack now. Let's just try to get a defense going. I'd like to get another expansion whenever I can afford it. My opponent was stacking up very quickly to the Vulcans. Oh, he has an expansion here. Maybe we can kill a Bob or two. It'd be really nice. Slow down the expansion by a bit. That's good. That is something. I can also destroy the trees and go in with the with the brutes once I have the upgrade here. I have some guns. The guns are not that useful versus mech. The brutes are, I think are, are a bit more efficient. Especially the magmadons are very strong because they don't die super quickly. I might actually 
change my production from guns to uh, brutes once I have the upgrade. It's like 20 seconds away. I'll just wait for this to finish and then we'll destroy the trees and try to counter attack Killa command center while also attacking the uh, the main base. Uh, sorry, the, the third base of my opponent with some uh, with some fiends. Okay, let's go. The upgrade should be finishing in just a moment. Awesome, it finished. Now we have lots of fiends here. Attack from the right side. While he's distracted, we'll try to attack this base. Let's go. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. So let's attack this base first. Let's go. Go to the main base. Maybe we can get a, get a Vulcan. Oh, he sees me. Go here. We can maybe surround this before he sees this. Okay, he's watching this fight. So we attack at the same time the, the right side. We, we can ret retreat from this. Go back. But we kill this expansion in the meantime with the fiends. He was not aware of that. I'll lose the magma down here, but that's okay for me. Uh, I, I dealt a lot of economical damage here. He has a lot of tourists here. That was a bit too greedy to still move forward. With this, let's get some guns. Get more magma dons. I wouldn't mind getting the shadow flyers or the harbingers to get myself some uh, healing in the in the battles. Okay, I think he just spotted my expansion. So that's my fourth. Not my third, by the way. So he might think this is fine for him. But to be honest, I would say this game is going very well for me. Let's get the vision camp here. This base has a lot of workers already. Hotkey everything. This, this. Okay, let's take the vision camp. Get a lot of magmadons. The more magmadons, the better. But I actually have to use these fiends. They're gonna die off in just a moment, so... Just bring them to death. Maybe I can trade for, for a unit or two. Let's try this. There's a lot of lancers. We'll get some brutes. And we just die. And here, let's try to take this camp, by the way. Can maybe do it. The camps are level 3 and 4 are actually hard to take without... Like, if you don't have a, a good amount of units. So it's always uh, scary. So you need to... You cannot really, like, underestimate the power of the... Of the turrets. Okay, I have lots of expansions. I haven't used uh, the flaming imps, imps a lot. Mm. Let's go here. Just instantly summon the shrine here. You can maybe try to attack him while also sniping the other expansion again. So attack him from the left side. The next thing we do. Is attack for the right side here. So let's see. Again, we can use the charge ability by the way. Bypass. Oh, he's actually counter attacking here. Oh, sorry, uh, walling off, not counter attacking. So I cannot use the charge now. Okay, let's use the split. Okay, we use the stem. Now let's go kill the expansion at the same time again. There's no expansion. He, uh, he again fell for the same move basically. Attacking from the left side and attacking at the right side. Okay, we're using the the guns attack range and kill some stuff here. Not sure if I can break through the turrets here. Probably not. He has already the mech techs. Uh, I would like to keep these guys alive. So let's get some uh, shadow uh, shadow flies. Sorry, not shadow flies. Spriggans. Spriggans. I guess maybe fight here. No, actually, that's a terrible fight. That is a terrible fight. Go back. Go back. We need to back. Oh my! It's going to be quite hard to fall back to. I have no units here. Let's counter attack with the fiends. I think my opponent wants to pretty much all in here. Cannot blame him. We have the fiends counter attacking. That's a lot of stuff that he has. Let's kill the command center. Okay. I need to use the, the flay dragon, I think. I actually cannot kill this army. I think. Can I kill this? I cannot. I'm about to lose my game, I think. I could use the dragon, but I don't have enough... ...enough stuff. I still have uh, Spriggans here, though. Okay, let's go. Kill, kill the air. Now we have the... We have the anti-air here. Kill this. We, can, we need to kill the, the, the freaking hedgehogs. They're the only anti-air that my opponent has here. 
Come on, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Okay. Oh, this is really, really close. Okay. Now, without the Antara, I think he cannot finish me off, right? He has no economy. That was very close. That was very close. But I will be able to probably pull this back. Okay, let's flank him. Everything that we have here. Oh, okay. This is okay. Oof. I, I was very worried. The Sprig has actually saved me the game here. The, the little anti-air for my opponent. He had very little anti-air. I actually have very little... Ethereum. Not sure if the game is over though. I have very little, lo like, I'm very low on supply. We can try to counter attack. We can maybe surround this Vulcan here. Get him. Play Dragon. Into Fort. Okay, I need to play Dragon. Let's try that. Can we attack this? I have very little imps here. Can we ha can we this uh, like kill the expansion here? If he has one, he might not be able to afford. Okay, he can actually afford it. We cannot really mi micro here much. Or we can maybe kill the exiles or something. Okay, I, I need the the tower to finish so I can spawn the flay dragon. Let's get a tower here. I need a single magma dome to destroy these trees, so it's easier for me to saturate this base. Let's go. Okay, now we can get the Ethereum here. Actually, the thing that I didn't do is trying to scout this base, the left side. I haven't done it in a while. Okay. I don't have uh, enough... Uh, uh, what is it called? Animus, I think? Animus is like the resource for Infernals. You get one Animus per one supply killed in the game. It could be your supply, could be your opponent's supply. Okay, can we do something here? Kill the CC maybe? It not very important, but it's something. Okay, we got it. We can get the, the dragon soon. As soon as the supply dies. Maybe we can kill a medtech or two. That's nice. Go back. We can get the dragon, maybe. Yeah, we still need five more. Let's just sacrifice these guys. Okay, how about now? Yeah, we can get it. Now, this guy is freaking imbalanced at the moment, by the way. So you thought you, you saw a lot of fiends? This guy, once you have him around... You actually get double the fiends from, from the infested units. So let's do this. This is going to be very hard to watch. <laughs> That's for sure. I need to get some uh, Spriggans. And more of them, I think. To spawn some stuff. Get these fiends here. That's right. Oh, yeah. Let's attack everything. He also has this ability. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what the abilities do. I haven't gotten the Flay Dragon often enough. But okay, we're at 174 supply. We're pretty sure with the Flay Dragon we can just go and try to finish this game. Let's try not to drag it out too much. Let's go, guy. Let's go, my guys. There's not enough uh, Vulcans for my opponent here. You can charge on top of the Vulcans here as well. GG. GG is cold and we win the game. Number two as well. Solid 2-0, but it got very, very close after my opponent counter attack. I think if it wasn't for the Spriggans, I would have absolutely lost this game. His army was uh, very well controlled, and like the, the composition of it was as well very difficult for me to handle. The, the amount of Lancers, the good amount of Volkans. Volkans are very, very expensive for Vanguard, but he still managed to do it despite him losing the expansion twice. So, well played to my opponent, and we win the series 2-0. I hope you enjoyed it. Please help me help Stormgate and wishlist Stormgate on Steam. It's the best thing that you can do to help support Frost Giant completely for free. Doesn't cost you anything. Let your friends know to wishlist the game as well. We want to push for, uh, Stormgate to the front pages of Steam and help them grow as much as possible. Don't forget also to support Kickstarter. Kickstarter ends in just a couple of days and there will be no more backing possible. If you support Kickstarter, you will be able to have access for the beta for the rem remainder of the beta test for Stormgate after the open beta happens between the 5th and 12th February. So make sure to support them. Link in the descriptions below. And another match versus Vanguard. Once again, Jardos there, by the way. So for, for some reason, we decided to play game, game number three just to get a best of three versus Vanguard or just another game versus Vanguard since I do believe the previous game was quite 
uh, fun to play. So let's do that. I actually forgot to make an iron vault early. The dock might be a bit hard to deal with here. I think I might want to expand a bit quicker this time. But this map has like two areas that they are going to be attacking you from. With hedgehogs, possibly. If they're going to be going hedgehogs first, of course. So I might need to get some defenses going first. And then try to expand. Looks like there's no dock harassment. Okay, there it is. The map is slightly larger than the previous map. But I do believe on this map you don't have the flowers to uh, heal up your dog. So he might as well just wait with the dog here to try to deny my expansion. I think that's exactly what he will be doing. Let's see. I will have to send a second worker probably. Let's see. Okay, he's allowing me to expand. What a nice gentleman. I don't mind this whatsoever. One thing that you can... Uh, do in Stormgate as well. It's like hide in the small trees. So this is like big trees and small trees. And uh, small units can uh, walk through small trees or hide in the small trees. While the big units, like the brute for example, cannot walk into the small trees. So you can hide your dog here. And the dog has this sensor ability. Kind of like a sensor tower. Where it sees units nearby as like an exclamation mark. And it can also use this uh, ability as an active, and then you get just an, an, a vision range around that uh, as well. So you can actually see the units here. Let's try to fight around. Oh, oh we can maybe catch this dog. We have a fiend, very first fiend here. This time I'm going to be rushing. This. Oh, wait, whoa, we lost the vision of the dog because of the small trees. Let's see if he's expanding or not. How to get a mid tower. Okay, it is an expansion build. It's going to be hard for me to micro, but let's try to slow it down a bit. Okay, we can see barracks. No gas for him just yet. Maybe can I kill the dog here? Destroy it? Come on. One more shot. He can repair the dog, by the way. The dog are mechanical. Oh! Little bit of mismike right there. Happens to the best. Happens to the best. But since my opponent is expanding super quickly as well, I think I will not use my iron vaults as much. I will just use my brutes to clear the camps, get the vision camps, while opening up these craters and get myself a third base expansion much faster. Since my opponents will have little to no pressure to me. So I can start my economy quite quickly. Let's go here. Okay, let's clear this camp right now. One brute can easily uh, snipe it. Worst case scenario, I can always uh, split it into the things. Let's get one more brute. Let's start slowly getting the Ethereum. I will have a hard time learning or like using naturally the the resources in Stormgate. The like Ethereum and Luminite, they don't really roll the tongue very well, to be honest. I think minerals and gas just feel so, so natural to me. But we'll see. Later on, maybe they'll change the names of the resources. I have no clue. But they feel a bit too complicated to remember to me. Okay, let's get this vision cam. Now we'll have very good economy if we can get that. I wouldn't mind splitting this brood just to speed up the process of clearing this camp. Now, I would like to see if he's getting a third base or not. I need a bit more imps on the Ethereum now. He's not taking an expansion, but let's produce some broods. A couple of, of more iron vaults. There's going to be mech base immediately. Habitat here. It's gonna be hard for him to defend. I think he's playing very greedy here. It is the Hedgehogs. Maybe not that greedy after all. Mm, I cannot win this fight, so at least the best I can do is run from here. Let's wait for this brute HP to go down, then I can split it in the last second. And now let's try to counterattack with this small amount of fiends. Just to let uh, make him pull the workers a bit. It's gonna be a bit harder for him to afford the Vulcans that I think he will want to do. The Bob Overcharters. Still not gone off. There we go. There's the Bob Overcharge. He can use the he can use the Bob Overcharge again, by the way. I think. I'm not sure how uh, short the cooldown is. I actually have no defenses here. We can try to surround my opponent here. He has to extensively micro his hedgehogs. Like he doesn't have that many of them. Mm, let's upgrade the shrine into the greater shrine. I didn't get to see much. At least we have this base now. Okay, he's sniping my watchtower, that's fine. Let's get a tower and a meat farm here. Oh. This is not gonna be easy. Actually, we'll lose the meat farm here. 
Okay, this is a bit problematic for me. A bit problematic. But I can use the high ground vision here. Okay. I'd like to get a, a tower there. Minus some more gas. I would like to get a shadow cleft now. I basically want to get as many brutes as possible now. I want to go for, like, basically almost brutes only to split into the fiends since he's going for lots of hedgehogs. It will also give me the opportunity to, to cancel his bases. He has to go to the top side, by the way. Oh, sorry, the left side. If he goes to the top side, I can easily surround. Okay. He's trading quite nice with this hatch. Oh, there's Lancers already. That's going to be not easy, guys. Split. Okay. Come on. Make the meat farm. You have to counterattack, I think. I'll not be able to fight this. I'll be able to get myself a couple of Magmadons soon-ish. But so far, this is very difficult since we're going with double factory here. Let's cancel this. We have to cancel this. Oh, there's more. I actually cannot fight this. Let's, let's go here. Counter-attack a bit. I think this is kind of like an all-in situation for my opponent. I don't think he's expanding. Now he's using the Bob Overcharge. Let's go back. Okay, Shadow Clef is about to finish. I can finally get some Magmadons, which will allow me to charge on top of my opponent. There we go. Now, now we're talking. I cannot start the upgrade yet, but we can at least set up on a, a, a flank. We need to get a meat farm or two. We still have this expansion, which is really nice. I need to get some more Tyrion. He definitely did a lot of economical damage to me here. And when it comes to the... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, we can maybe surround him. He cannot go up here. We're gonna surround this guy. Oh, he's surrounded. Get him. We have one more charge here. Oh, he's cornered. He's cornered. Get him. There we go. This is what we needed. Oh, we really needed that. Oh, he scouted his base way too, clay, uh, way too late. But I lost some imps here, but that's definitely not a problem for me whatsoever. I have a third base. Fully functional. Maybe we can even surround these hedgehogs. Looks like he's not paying attention. Ah, he was just paying attention. Let's see there's a, if there's a third base. There is. I need to kill it before it finishes uh, building, by the way. That would be really nice, because otherwise he would be able to use pop overcharge. Oh yeah, I cannot get it on time. Let's get a one hedgehog here maybe and go back. He's microing hard. Oh, we got the hedgehog after all. Let's go back. I think all I need to do is wait for my upgrade to finish. And we should be able to... Actually, I cannot survive this. Let's just charge back. In here, charge again. Oh, that was a bad charge. He wants to get this magma done. I'll not allow it. Go back. We need to attack him from multiple locations now. Oh, as soon as the brute uh, upgrade is finished. It's still halfway down, so a long way to go. At least we were able to save the magma down, which is nice. I can use the camp right now, the healing camp. We heal it up uh, fully. Get one more magma down. Go here with the brutes. This guy has to heal itself. Okay, next thing. We need a fourth base, which is building. We need to saturate it. We have lots of iron vaults. Well, four of them. That's not really lots of them, but that's good enough. We also have the infest ability now for the, uh, from the Shroud Stone, which is a global ability, by the way. There's some more iron vaults. Let's try to attack him from two sides now. I think uh, this guy can stay. This guy's way too low HP. Let's get these guys. We have enough brutes here. Let's go like this. This is going to be my main attack, and the left side is going to be my counter attack to the to, to destroy the command center, if possible. Let's get the upgrade for the guns later on. Okay, let's split. Split this as well. Let's see if he's going to be able to defend. Okay, we can get a surround here, maybe. Although he has the uh, Vulcans already. Oh, this is not going to be a good attack for me, I think. Can maybe get this command center though. He oh the, the bobs, the bobs are not working. Get a command center. Nice, we got a command center. That's very important. No, we're not winning this fight though. Okay, we can go here. I can use the infest, but the bobs are very hard to kill. I need to make sure that I at least retreat with some of them. He has very good wall offs here versus the fiends. It's not that easy for me to find value now. But I do have this expansion, which we can use. We can also use these imps 
to uh, f use the ability which is flame on, which basically turns them into like small banelings. They detonate after four seconds and dealing some damage, and I think they deal a good amount of damage to the to the buildings as well. Oh, I didn't open up this one, the the crater here. I don't have that much uh, Ethereum mining. Let's go here, mine a bit more. So we open up. Oh, he has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Vulcans in production. That's for sure. I'm not sure if we can do something here. I wouldn't mind getting a Shroud in the middle of the map just to s get the white health. Let's go here. We have a fourth base fully saturated. This base is already started again. It's not gonna be easy. Not gonna be easy. Let's get some imps here. I think I will have to use the. The imps this time. Uh, I would like to get a middle base. I think I can get a middle base. He's definitely going to be camping here. So let's make sure that I use the economy properly. Let's mine more Ethereum here. We get more economy here and start the middle base. That'll be fantastic. Go here. We can destroy the trees with the charge. I don't have that much money. That's because I'm spending it quite nicely throughout the game. Let's mine more Ethereum from this side. The okay, next thing, we have to make sure that he doesn't get a fourth. By the way, he could have. Wait, he could have a hidden base. Am I wrong? He could have a hidden base. Let's just try to find that. I don't think he does have it, but it's better to confirm it. Okay, go around. No hidden base here. No hidden base here. Okay, we're fine. Get some more. Magmanos, let's get some more uh, Twilight Spires to get some air units. I want to get the... Uh, what is it called even? The Ritual Chamber for the Imp upgrade. I, I haven't actually used the, the Flame on Imps since like forever, since the previous beta build, so I'm not sure how effective they are. I only know they've been kind of nerfed, but I'm not 100% sure how much damage they still do. We need to get another base. Basically, it's not possible to, to break this guy on three bases, I think. Let's use the white health here. I need to use uh, this guy, Doombringer. We need this to finish. Ritual Chamber is halfway done. It's fine. I wouldn't mind getting more... Conclaves. Maybe a couple more Iron Vaults here as well. Oh, he's here scanning. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try to get this. Can we get this? Oh, we actually got it! <laughs> Wait, no, he cancelled it, he cancelled it. Okay. That kind of exposed his base, no? I think that should have exposed his base. Okay, let's start the upgrade for the imps. I want to get as many imps as, as I can. Get some more magma dons. I think mass magma dons should be good enough for me now. I can use some weavers as well to pull the... Hello? To pull some of his units towards me. Oh, he's... Oh, he can actually attack this. Oh, that's a big-ass army. Holy crap. That is a big-ass army. I don't have that many guns here. I actually don't have any. This is not a good fight for me. He's charging with the Magmadons. We have lots of splash damage here. The Vulcans are at the front. I think this might be just a good fight for me. Let's uh, pull back with the... With the Brutes and try to flank him. We have the Weavers here. We can pull the... The Vulcans here. Let's pull it. Got it. We have a good flank on him. We have the Magma Don's tanking. Yeah, 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 this is a good fight. We can split the Fiends here. Kill the Vulcans. The Weavers are doing God's work here as well. Pulling the Vulcans in here. We got a good surround. He stayed a bit too long here. We were able to get a very good flank from the bottom with my Brute Split. I can use the Imps now, by the way. Let's do mine some stuff. I think it costs... Each Imp costs 25 uh, gas, the Tyrium now. So we can use it to break the walls of my opponent. Let's try that. My army is not that strong. 
I just realized. Let's go here. Oh, he wants to snipe this thing. Let's just go surround him. We, have to, um, we can maybe destroy his production facilities. Let's try that. Going to the production. Okay, now we have the flame on. Ah, we destroyed two supply depots. <laughs> That's not very effective, I suppose. But we can still use the weaver here. Pull it back into me. And make some doom bringers. GG. That's it. Yeah, we got a very good flank in the middle of the map here. That was a good engagement. He had a very strong army, but I think he was way too clumped up. He just, you know, pushed through. His hedgehogs were blocked uh, behind. I got the fiends both on the both on the hedgehogs and on the Vulcans later on. Uh, I think if it was just a fight from one dimension to the other, you know, like just a linear fight like this, I think he would have won. But because I got the flank all around his army, I don't think he he had the uh, any ability to win uh, to win this one. I, I got a very good flank on him there. Next match is gonna be Infernal versus Infernal. And let's see if this is going to end up with Fiend versus Fiend. Infernal versus Infernal very often ends into Fiend versus Fiend because it's like the, 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 the fastest unit in Infernals and the fastest kind of damage as well because you can have so many of them. And because they are so slow, uh, so small, they can also surround enemies very quickly. And of course you also get the, the Fiends from the Infest ability of both Gaunts as well as the Infest from the Shroudstone. So that's why it does end up in Fiend versus Fiend. Hopefully it will be fixed in the other builds because I think Fiend versus Fiend is not really fun because it's very hard to judge. It's very hard to uh, judge an engagement, even if you're the one playing, not to mention if you're the, the one watching, I don't, I, I, I don't know how you're even supposed to uh, distinguish the two players that, with the Infest. I think it's just like whatever happens, happens, you know, from the player's perspective. And from the viewer perspective, whatever happens, happens as well, I think. So, alright. Let's focus on this game now. Uh, we're playing in front versus in front on this muscle. Let's get the resources camps. If I can do it. We could probably play kind of like a cheese thing here. For my, but we haven't been playing much cheese, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna cheese with like a couple of brutes with an expansion. With... Uh, towers kind of uh, attacking from the low ground. I've played a game versus... One of the players, where the guy was actually harassing me uh, from the low ground with brutes. Uh, sorry, yeah, with the brutes and uh, shroud stones in here. Let's try to do that. It's gonna be kind of an awkward game. I wonder if it's gonna be working though, because we need to get that high ground vision. If it's fast expanding as well, this might just work. I haven't I haven't done this strategy before. Kind of like a tower rush here. It might just work if we pull enough uh, imps here. The thing is, the towers really build for a very, very long time. So we need to start with this very early. Let's see if he's taken any camps. He has taken a camp, so I need to hide the imps here. Make sure that I hide them so he doesn't see this. Okay. He's probably taking this camp. Okay, he has a brute here. Okay, okay. wait, 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 wait. He sees me. That's a bit annoying. I wonder if he saw, saw the imps. Go here, let's split. Get a meat farm. <laughs> Is he doing the same thing? No way! No way! He's actually doing the same thing! <laughs> yeah, he is! Oh my god, we gotta cancel this! Oh no, this is terrible! No! <laughs> We're losing this one! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. That's funny. That's really funny. Not sure if we can find any anything here. Let's fight. How's this one going to go? I'll just make, make it here in the middle, I don't know. I think I have more uh, more uh Oh don't die. Okay, we got it. I think I have more uh, more iron vaults here. We're killing the, the workers, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Kill the brute! Get him! Kill Micro a bit. Okay, he's trying to build here, but the brutes are actually very good at destroying the... Uh, destroying the buildings. Let's bring some more imps here. Oh, we lost this fight. Wait, 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 don't die! 
Please don't kill this Shroud Stone, please. Please don't do this. Please! Let it survive! Oh, I didn't survive, man. Lame! Should have let it survive. Come on. We have more coming, though. We have more coming. I, I actually do need a meat farm because I'm gonna be supply blocked. Just a moment. Can I get Shroud Stone here? Okay. Let's get a meat farm. I don't know. Let's just try something. Let's just, not just play macro. It's, we're here to play for fun as well. I don't mind this. If a meat farm? Can we do something here? He's actually mining gas here. Oh, he's gonna lose the imps. Yeah, wait, wait, chase him. Oh, he's actually building on top of me here. That's not ideal. I have a lot of brutes, by the way. Lots of brutes for me. The brutes are actually pretty damn good versus the the towers. So maybe oh wait, can we surround them? Maybe. Not very. Ah, it's not close. Not close enough. I, I need a third base. That's not a good fight for you, my friend, I think. Oh, look, he has much more white health. Make an expansion in the meantime. <laughs> so much. So many fiends. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. I have so many imps here. Can take an expansion here? Let's try to mine some... Some more Ethereum here. Okay, I've got to surround on the Brute. I lost all the Fiends here though. I actually did. Okay, we got this expansion. It's really nice. I have a third base. And probably... Oh, wait. Why are these guys not mining? What? I told them to mine. I swear I did. Can I run through? I don't think I can. I'm getting lots of towers here, though. Let's pull back. Pull back, pull back. I just need to make sure that he doesn't get a third base. This container is fine. Bring some uh, some imps here. Actually, let's heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Hey, does he have an expansion here? He doesn't. Okay, so let's just patrol the brute around here. Heal up the brutes. Here's the. He still has the infest. You know, I do have it. I'm not sure who's winning now. I think I have it. Still have the third base. But I never upgraded myself. Go here. Hide more iron vaults. What? He's still attacking me here. I didn't realize that. One, one brute actually beats the shroud stone, by the way. The brutes are really good versus the, the shroud stones. We we'll fight here, that's fine. Another one here. Oh, actually, we can. One more. Oh, accident! I didn't mean to do that. Let's just try to run through. Ooh, this is not looking good, guys. That was a very bad split. For me. Let's go around. I need to get more iron vaults, I think. Oh, here he has so many iron vaults actually. We kill some imps. That would be nice. Okay. Lose this one. I just need to wait, where's my shadow cliff? I never started it. I actually don't need more iron vaults. Okay. My economy is looking very good, that's for sure. I just need more production. I need to wait for the Shadowcraft to finish so I can get some Magma Dons to deal with the Brutes. My economy is looking fantastic for that. 
Let me just make sure that I have stuff. But I don't I don't have the infest on me. I don't have the infest ability here. I don't have the tower available. Okay, that's fine. You cannot really get a good surround here. Just need to micro into the chokes as much as possible. Okay, I have the shadow left now. Let's get the magma down here. I don't have the charge. I think he split some of his stuff. He's still attacking me here. Let's just split everything. Magma nuts are going to be very good here, that's for sure. Oh, he got the infest on me. Let's just charge, fight this. Hit Magma nuts can deal with this. No problemo. Alright, we got the free expansion we were able to defend. I have this fourth base in the meantime. I don't think he has a third base. I think he committed a lot of resources to that. It's very important to get this Magmadons on time. And to buy myself with the uh, buy myself time with the brutes. Let's get the uh, the upgrade for the brutes. No third base, yeah. No third base for him. Does it kill the resource camp, maybe? Get some uh, some more imps here. Okay, how about more brutes? Maybe just brutes, actually. I think the brutes are pretty good with, like, the fiends? They don't deal well versus uh, brutes, I think. And the magma dons. Oh, there's a third base. He actually does have it. But I think I have the magma don uh, advantage over him. Looks like he has none, none here. There's lots of brutes, though. Pretty sure we can win this fight. What if we charge on top of him? Oh, the, yes, the splash! The splash of Magma Dust is gonna be great here versus these... These fiends. My Magma Dust are barely, barely surviving. They regenerate a lot of white health very quickly uh, on Shroud. Even enemy Shrouds, look at this. The white health it regenerates very, very quickly. I yeah, can probably go through here. Do I have the upgrade yet? It's about to finish. Let's go here. Oh, it's finished. Let's get the main base, by the way. The split. Yeah, he's losing the main base. We have the money. We have, we have him. We have the ladies and gentlemen. The fiends prevail. GG. <laughs> GG, GG. <laughs> that was really fun to see. We both had the same idea with brutes and towers. <laughs> that was really funny. That was really fun to play. And I hope you enjoyed it.